Now, we've been using the Nomad series for years now, Ever. right? And it is the number one go-to if you're going to go to um, a car topper. This is the ultimate car topper. And what CJ have gone and done is they've gone and put a high side on it just so the crocodiles don't jump in that, you know. You've got that bit more freeboard. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. And it does, it gives the boat a little bit more stability. It feels like it's got a lot more space in it, which it has. And it still is the ultimate car topper. And it's great for us too, because we drop it onto the, on the ground and we take it with the buggy and we can go that bit further and get into those really remote little rivers. That's it, exactly. And that little trailer is what does that. Yep. So jump inside, let's have a look at, at uh, what we actually do to these little high sides when we get them. So first of all, it gets a full floor put in it. So a front casting deck. As you can see, we put some carpet on the seats because that allows it burns you. That's it. Burns your bum. And when we're traveling, I like to lay down there and catch it. Yeah. Yeah, the big walrus on the front of the boat. You know those big elephant seals? It's a big thing. That's him. Just concentrate on driving the boat, mate. So full floor casting deck. Now under there is some uh, storage yep, compartment, storage. as you do. You put our gear and spare fuel in there, anchor up the front. That's it. Down the back here, you've got the floor. But what we've done is we put these boxes in there. Now, the whole idea of the boxes is, is when you load it upside down onto the top of the boat, all your stuff's in there. Now, what you'll see is it's recessed in the floor. Now, we recess it down into the floor just to make it easier to, you know, to position it in the floor so it's got its own little space. Plus, when we drag it up on the roof of the car, we don't want it to hook on the roof rack. Well, that car. too, and that's why it is re recessed. So, it, the box is the perfect size for this tinny. Now, when, um, when we flip it open, we'll have a look inside. So, you'll see what we've got inside. We've got our seats, which just go and Velcro onto there. Velcro onto there. Good to keep your little butts nice and soft. Recovery gear. So that's the full recovery gear. Safety gear. Eperb, flares, all that sort of stuff. And this tinny also, it's got a bit of a V to it. And it's great. We can go through the choppy stuff and it's good, but it's still wide enough that it's very stable. Oh, 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 look at it down there in size of those I'm fish. seeing it's them. A barra, dude. Is that a barra? It's a barra Monday. It's a barra. Oh, I got a big barra. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, oh, baby. Oh, my God. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that's our little boat. That's it, mate. Let's go on to the medium-sized boat, like you said before. Now, this one is the 4.28 Avenger. Now, the advantage of this boat is, obviously, being medium in size, but I've, and, and you correct me if I'm wrong, I'm finding this boat really good in, in the river and that offshore stuff, yep. where we're doing a lot of barra fishing and casting and flicking and, you know what I mean? And we're trying to flick in into the mangroves or we're trying to flick off rocky headlands and fish. I find it really good. Bigger platform, we can travel a lot further, we can carry more gear, we can take our swags, we can camp overnight and that a lot, a lot easier. Yes. All right, we're good. Jump in. I'm in, dude. <laughs> All right, the first thing you'll know with this boat is, it is a tiller steer version. So there we are, there's the tiller steer, okay? Big tiller on the back and it has a 50 horsepower tiller on it which makes this thing get up and go like you wouldn't believe. It hums along. Oh, it goes great. Even with all of us in it and all our gear and all our swag. Oh, yeah. Look, good place for home, mate. Perfect. Picture is on. Barra! And it's got these seats. It's got these little folding seats that sit in these uh, sockets. There's one up the front there, mate. And this is where I normally come and hang when we were cruising along. You get old mate down the back there driving, and I sit up here and I watch the dolphins and stuff as they porpoise out in front of the boat, and it's all good. That's how it works. That's what we do. <laughs>